chascos. Okay, so we just came back from the stores. We went to Costco's, Target, Audi's, Giant, and the Dollar Store. So this is about to be a big haul. So just bear with me, y'all. Here we go. So I know y'all always see the same kind of, we always get the turmeric and the ginger, but they had different shots in there today. I was so excited to try these. This is the Elderberry. Oh, excuse me. And the vitamin C shots. So, they're new, and we got the same old ginger. They didn't have the turmeric, but that's fine. Okay. Some coconut liquid aminos. A1 sauce. Let me get my tea. I'm going to drink that now. And finally got my... I guess it's hard to find this for some reason. Everybody, I guess, always buying it. The non-dairy Starbucks almond milk. It's caramel macchiato. And I'm trying the Silk Sweet Cream. I had Sweet Cream, I'm going to say a different brand, and I like it. I haven't tried Silk one yet. Dairy free. And the back is our fruit snack, some almond milk, orange juice. And I brought some original unsweetened almond yogurt. I'm trying a new, um, little, I guess, a meal plan situation. So, I guess I'll tell you. I wasn't going to tell you, but... It's the Keto's meal plan. I want to try it first before I even talk about it and tell you. I'll tell you how I feel about it later on. But anyway, so these are Keto bars. This one is macadamia nut. And this one is strawberry. Little Gatorade drinks. Coconut milk. I have Starbucks unsweetened iced coffee. Stubbs barbecue sauce. Love him. Some hot sauce, marinara sauce, some liquid smoke, French toast sticks, coconut milk, pesto, some biscuits, butter, unsalted butter, regular butter, some cheese, all kind of cheese, Mexican cheese, that's all for him. Got my mozzarella vegan cheese. I really like this cheese. So if you're looking for a vegan cheese, this brand is really good. They also have an extra sharp cheese. That's good too. Noodles. Chai seeds. Eggs. Lasagna. Stouffer's too. Got two of them for him. So for my little keto situation, they said I can have two squares of dark chocolate. So... They were on sale at Giant, so I got three. Coconut, cocoa, and a touch of sea salt. Cauliflower rice, mushroom slices, mozzarella sticks, and tea. 
So I'm gonna show y'all how I set up my tea and my little tea um, organizer that I have. I was out of all my teas, so I had to refill everything. French vanilla, chai, seeds, your tummy. I like this. Like if um stomach is upset or if I'm cramping, I really like this tea. It really does help to settle my stomach. Some matcha green tea. This is my first time trying this one. Lavender chamomile. Regular Limpton black tea. I like to uh, use those for my gallon of tea that I like to make, my brew tea. And this is something new that my boyfriend picked out for us. Some energy tea. Blue Lady. I haven't tried that one yet. Alright, so now let me show y'all what we got from Costco. So Costco's we just got meat so we could um, have it for a while. We're going to break it down, put some in the freezer, and put some in the refrigerator. So we've got ground turkey. It came with four packs of ground turkey. I don't like to freeze my ground turkey, so um, I kept two and gave my sister the other two packs. Salmon, this nice big piece of salmon. It's sliding all in the car. I'm going to cut that down, of course, and break it up. What is this? Oh. So this is ugh, party wings and they were only $21 and I got two, four, six, six packs of the party wings. I like how they package these because I could just cut them. I don't have to put them in Ziploc bags. Just cut it, put some in the freezer and keep some in the refrigerator. So I don't even have to separate these. And the size, the same for the size, two, four, six packs of the size and they were 11 81 12 dollars for two four six packs of thighs that is crazy <clears throat> and we got this big old colossal shrimp let me see Ooh, this bag is so heavy do you see how big they are they were a little pricey um 40 dollars but it was definitely worth it you see how big those shrimps are oh my gosh well, fruit this week, all I got was strawberries, bananas, avocados, and lemon, asparagus, spinach, broccoli, hey, on. coleslaw, some seasoning. This is this the chef blend. Look good, Nino. Stop, Nino. Get your head out the box. What is wrong with you? Some bread and some bell peppers. All right, let's go back over here. So, what else? We got some of this from the dollar store and from Target. Some plates, bread cups, coffee fresh, deodorant. Shout out for my boyfriend. And I wanted to try this face oil or oil. I haven't tried this one before. Yeah, it is face oil. Hopefully the rose hip fragrance don't irritate me. I, I can use pure rose hip oil on my skin, but I don't know fragrance. And I usually use jojoba oil for my face at night to moisturize my face. I just want to try something different. So it's be great for fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, uneven skin, aging skin. We'll see. Some clothes detergent, cotton pads, some Q-tips. Some foil strips, some freezer bags. I'm gonna give him a treat right now because he's acting like a little baby. Mm -hmm. Nino, some treats for Nino, crybaby butt. He loved these treats. Oh, now he's running. Look, look at him. <laughs> Your treats. Wait a minute. Brillo pads. I found these at the Dallas store. I have not seen these Brillo pads in so long. Cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner. So, pretty much, it was a long day of running around grabbing food and household items um i like going to costco's because we don't have to go grocery shopping every week like we usually do so if we go to costco's this meat probably gonna last us about three months yeah it's gonna last for a while so i'm about to put up everything and call it a night hey nanny it's a treaty for you with a treat, young nanny pop. Ow, get your, get your head out of my pants. You want your treats, young nanny pop? Huh. Mm -hmm. You want your young treats? Don't let my aunt eat it. <laughs> you want your treats? Take a breath. Did Amir tell you what happened? There it is. No, what? 
Hey y'all, good morning. It's Sunday and today is the first day of my keto diet meal prep week. And I made my first keto breakfast, which is eggs, spinach, and some avocado. The avocado I got from the store yesterday, they were already super ripe, so. Oh well. Drink me a little water. And that's my first keto breakfast. Just finished meal prepping my lunch and dinner for the next four days. So for lunch, I'm having this ground turkey mixed with coleslaw mix or cabbage. And for dinner, I'm having this cauliflower rice, bell peppers, and some chicken thighs. And what's this? I'm having a um, little guacamole. I'm making a guacamole every day. So this is just one avocado. You just put it, you just dump it inside, you know, here. And that'll be dinner for the next four days. Um, I got this meal plan from, what is his name? What's his name? Can I see? Well, oh, fat for weight loss. If you are interested in his keto seven day build plan that I'm doing right now, I'll leave his YouTube link in the description box below. So for a snack, they said I could have a four egg. So I have my water on now for the eggs. So either I can have a boiled egg, two pieces of a chocolate square dark chocolate, or a half of avocado. I have a half of avocado already cut up in a bowl from my graphics. So, yeah, if I like this kiddo's plan, I will do a whole video showing y'all how I make my food and everything. But this is my first time trying this. So I want to make sure I really like it before I, I even introduce it to y'all. Again, I'm going to show y'all. I got these yesterday from Aldi's. These are some keto bars. And it tells you everything up here. Two grams of sugar, nine grams of protein. 4 grams of net carbs and 16 grams of fat. So, this is good for kiddos playing and this is how the bar look. My sister had one yesterday. She said she don't think I'm going to like it, but I have to force myself to because I, I love uh, chocolate. I'm not going to say I, I'm addicted to sugar, but I love chocolate and I do like my tea with sugar or honey, so I have to get used to drinking it without it because I do not like stevia. I tried stevia before. That aftertaste is disgusting so I'd rather just not have anything. I know I look all crazy because I've been down here cooking all day long and it's hot. Alright y'all. I'll let you know how this keto situation go. This plastic container I purchased from Ross. It was $4.99 if you can see on the sticker. So I just placed my tea bags in here. Microwave. And you just 
grab your tea bag on your way out the door. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you won't miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.